Hey, look, it's me, the guy that makes videos. Remember when that happened? Uh, yes, so let's see what I'm going to be reviewing after 2,000 years. Uh, well, th this creepypasta, it's... It's called Stick Stickly. It's the it's, it's stickiest stick sticks. Well, a Stick Stickly was a show on Nick Jr. Uh, so my conclusion is that they uh, they took Happy Happy, like threw the apple part away, gave the, the stick that held him up a face, and he just put him as a show. And the apple is just like sitting there, dying. Well, in any case, there's this guy I found like an old website that had like very early episodes of it, I guess. So the first one he clicked was just called First Ever Stick Stickly Appearance. There's that one racing game Sonic the Hedgehog made his first appearance in, maybe you should have called it that. The design was different from his actual show, but all he did was make a few corny jokes and he just said, fuck off, Rugrats next. You don't, you don't got nothing else from me. So that was the pilot, I have to say, that episode sure was... That was the pilot. And you move on to the next episode, which was Stick Gets Injured. And here his body was all worn out and he had splinters sticking out of him. And then, well, I can't think of a joke for this. Wait, wait, no, hold up, hold up. Splinters were sticking out of him because he is a stick. That's the joke, fuck you. So then he said, that dog there, he, he, be, he buried me. And I just managed to barely get out just to tell you kids that hey dude is up next. Ah, so this is an actual show. This is one of those things where, like, a guy tells you what you're gonna watch next instead of, you know, reading. I can't imagine how the, the writer of this was just lazy. He was just like, you know, at least the first episode had jokes. He was here, he just, like, came to work five minutes later. He called his, he called it a day. Oh, well, of course. It's not over yet, after all. He had to sing his famous song about sending him messages. And, like, he does that. And he just kind of sits there motionless with the rest of the video. And I guess the puppeteer also went home early. And so the the third video was called the hang stick. How, how do you hang a popsicle? Well, 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 they found like a way and they demonstrated in this in this uh, short documentary. So it plays a game of hangman and you gotta guess letters and if you guess the letter wrong and the noose gets like closer to his face, that, that's how you hang a popsicle. You don't gotta go to school today, that was education enough for you. So when the, the, the kid guessed all the letters wrong, the rope got to his neck that he doesn't have and his eyes just vanished and they were repl replaced with X's. And there was no sound for like 30 seconds and they just kind of just kind of looked at him the whole time. I mean, this is how you know it's happy happy. It's just just most of it is just silence where nothing goddamn happens. And they go to the fourth video which is Stick Quits. And he was ranting about how nobody respected him. Well, he's right. He was being treated like a toothpick while his father was a great and mighty ship. Alright, look, I know why you're wondering why his dad is Noah's Ark, but things are more important. Like a kid comes over and he's like, no, 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 people respect you. They like you. And he says, oh, okay. And the next episode is Stick Gets Mad. So I guess the kid lied to him. The entire goddamn episode was muted, but he was just like, like angry and stuff. You couldn't exactly tell due to the poor animation, but like, he, you can tell he was angry through his body language. I mean, look, he, he's, he's a goddamn stick. He doesn't have body language. He only has a stick and a face like the only thing he can do at this point is like soul language or something and a little girl that was like scared in the corner is like yeah fuck this and she just she just left then he just stared at the screen but the animation again so shit that you couldn't like even tell what the hell he was like saying you couldn't even tell if he was saying anything his mouth does not move it's like my animations. After that, there was a sixth video called The, the Winner Revealed. The stick had a dark stain on the top of his head and one of his eyes was like an X. So my only conclusion is that like he is half alive. He can't, he can't be alive, he's just a stick. Wait, how does he speak? Can we trust this man? And he was like, so the votes are in and all you little fuckers voted for our next show, Candle Cove. And it's just, the story ends there. So the whole pasta was a promotion for Candle Cove as done by the stick. That held up Happy Happy. Well, uh, well, that wasn't very scary. Creepypastas are supposed to scare me, right? This one didn't really do none of that. It didn't even, like, unsettle me in the sight. It's just, hey, this happened. Did you know that? And anyway, Candle Cove. I mean, this made it in the tats of the top list. I, I, I mean, granted, it's better than most lost episodes, but, like, but, but it just literally didn't really do anything it just like it exists here's this go read that other creepy pasta you fuck so in conclusion this pasta sucks as well goodbye see you in another 20 years for my next video